SSDs have gotten drastically cheaper over the years, giving us more and more value for our money. I still recall the day in about 2012 when I spent over $120 for my first measly 128 gig SSD. Whereas nowadays, you could get something like this, a 500 gigabyte Barracuda 120, for just $89. That's over 25% cheaper and 400% more space. Hey guys, it's Fraser from Manwave, and today we thought it would be a good idea to show you how to install a new SSD in your computer. So here's an SSD. They pretty much all look the same, except for the design on the case tends to vary a little from brand to brand. On the back, you'll see there's two connections on one end. The wider connection is for SATA power, and the other connection is for SATA data. The Barracuda 120 we are installing today has read and write speeds of 560 and 540 megabytes per second, respectively. So once you're ready to install your new SSD, turn off and unplug your PC, and then bring it to a flat surface, surrounded by plenty of light. We use a wooden surface to work on our PCs, and glass is also fine. I'd try to avoid building your PC on surfaces where static discharge may occur, such as a metal desk or a carpet. Once ready to proceed, remove both side panels of the case to get access to the internal components and cables. Then, take a moment to locate where you can mount your SSD inside the case. Most cases are pretty simple. They just use the standard screw like this one and attach to the SSD from either the sides or the bottom. For us, we just take out an empty drive bay and mount the SSD from underneath and then slide it back in. Now you can plug in your SATA power. It looks like this. And if you have other hard drives or SSDs, you'll be able to look at how those are connected if you're unsure. Next, take your SATA data cable and connect one end to a free spot on the motherboard and the other one to the SSD. When picking where to connect on the motherboard, it's best to check your manual first. This is because sometimes there are conditions where, for example, the M2 slot and one of the SATA slots actually share lanes. So if one is in use, the other will be disabled. Once that's all done, you're finished. Feel free to do a little cable management and put back on the side panels and take your PC back to your desk, plug it in and start it up. Once you're in your OS, you'll want to set up the new drive before it can be used. You're going to want to right click on the start button and then go to disk management. Then you're going to want to find the new drive and then right click on it and select new simple volume and then click next twice. Then pick a drive letter and then choose a file system. We recommend NTFS for Windows and then select default for allocation unit size and then give it a name. You can call it whatever you like. Also, make sure to click the perform a quick format option. Once done, your new drive will appear under my computer where you can use it for whatever you like. And that's all there is to it. See how simple it is to install a new SSD? Now in the future, if you need even more storage space, you can easily upgrade whenever you like. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to check out the SSD used in this video, feel free to find it linked below. That's all from me, but as usual, I'll catch you guys again in the next video.